Hello there, I'm the student and this is another video in my video series of very interesting game mechanics and uh, today I wanted to talk about the fort system, the uh, fort control system of provinces and how to stack wipe stacks like uh, this one over here if you have uh, trapped them by taking uh, such a four over here. Okay, so let's uh, go right into the situation. As you can see, I'm in a war with uh, Scotland and I took that for just a second ago. So normally uh, you would uh, understand the fort system uh, this, the way that this four over here controls all of the adjacent provinces, which means this one and this one uh, and this one obviously, but this is already controlled by this four. So, um, especially this province is interesting because obviously the Scots uh, came from there. So the question is, can they flee back over there? And uh, yeah, let's just test it out. Just uh, win the battle. As you can see, they're fleeing over there, which is totally normal because they came from there. You can always go back to the province uh, you came from. Uh, except for like uh, straits or something but uh, yeah as you notice he can flee over that province even though it should be controlled by that fort over there so the movement system works the way that you can move always to the province that you own directly and control right so in this case in this case it's his capital which he owns and controls which means that he can move to that province in any case even though this four should normally block him so the question would be how could you prevent that from happening and uh, for that i'm going to uh, alt f4 right now and uh, go to the 10th of august again and i'm going to show you what you can do to actually leave him on that province. Okay, so I'm back uh, at the same date from uh, before. I uh, didn't kill him obviously yet and we are in the same situation. So instead of just going in and winning that without stack wiping him and uh, letting them uh, flee over, over in the north, uh, I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to move those two armies to those two provinces over here and I'm going to siege them down real quick. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bomb this up, rush it. There we go, wait for that to finish. There we go. And now you notice that the uh, province that uh, they, fl uh, they fled to uh, the last time is actually now occupied by me. And uh, I'm going to show you that this is actually the thing that you need to stack wipe this army. Obviously this province I don't need to occupy it because it's his last province that he uh, came from. So this province will be always available for this army to go to because it's the province that they, that they came from obviously, right? So I'm just going to go in and uh, win the battle against this army over here. And uh, yeah, let's just see if he can flee further. And oh, surprise, he cannot. And that's the reason why you should always, if you want to trap an army and stack wipe it afterwards, as I am doing it right now, you should always not just take the four, you should always take the provinces behind that four as well. Because that is then the case that he can't go uh, further than, than the province he came from because he is not controlling the, the uh, further provinces. I hope that benefited you and hope you can use that in your games because uh, I think there are a lot of uh, misunderstandings about the, the fort system from a lot of players. So yeah, I hope that that uh, benefited you and uh, hope to see you next uh, time in the next video.